This is Extra Time, presented by Purina. Welcome into Extra Time. I'm Tamar Share. It's been a busy week for City SC. On Monday, the club announced it was parting ways with head coach Bradley Carnell. Then on Wednesday, they were back in action at City Park. On the eve of the 4th of July, City SC snapping its nine-match winless streak with a 2-0 victory over San Jose at City Park. It was the club's first win since May 11th and their first match under interim head coach and former technical director John Hackworth. Post-match, Hackworth spoke of the club's resilience during a difficult week. It's been a tough week. Uh, there's no doubt about that. Um, players, staff, the club, um, when, you, when you make a change to the head coach, it's, it's never easy. Um, so in a very short amount of time, I think you saw the resilience of this group. But we, uh, we shouldn't pretend like we fixed it in one night. You know, there's so much more work to do. Uh, and that's all we can do. We can take this for what it was. We needed a win. 1v1, presented by Purina. As a new era of St. Louis City SC soccer begins, the club will lean on its veterans to help guide them. One of those veteran leaders is without a doubt, Edu Leuven. Sports on Force Brian Kennedy sat down with Leuven for this week's 1v1. Leuven, thanks for chatting with us this week. So I know you obviously spent, you know, a large part of the season off the field. Now you've been back for a little while. How are you feeling physically? Kind of feel like you're getting back into it? Yeah, uh, the season hasn't started uh, as planned for me with the green card and then the uh, injury and private issues. Coming back uh, for sure was a, was a great moment for, you, for me, especially now, like since a couple of weeks, knowing, OK, I'm finally back, I'm getting into it, playing all the games, getting, getting minutes again. And I feel, I feel pretty good, for sure. Uh, mentally, it has been tough uh, coming back playing a lot of good games, uh, not winning, um, but it's it's good to be back. Sure, and the team is obviously now kind of doing a transition with Hackworth taking over. How much responsibility kind of falls on the veterans and the leaders to make sure things go the right way instead of, you know, even get worse than what they are now? Yeah, I think it's easy to just say like, yeah, because of the coach, it didn't work out. Now we got a new coach and now things will just go our way. And that's not the case because like in the end of the day, uh, we are responsible, um, the players, we should have done things better in the past to win these games. Now you look back and you say, oh, we played so many great games and almost every single game we were the better team and should have won. Yeah, but we didn't. So um, it's easy to shift the blame. But uh, as you said, like now it's not only for us as, a, as like the veterans on the team to lead well, for sure and uh, to get the team out of that position, you know, and but I mean, in the end of the day, it's going to take everybody. You, you, you can't put all the responsibility on Hack's shoulders and you can't put it on only the shoulders of the leaders. It's like every single one. Thank you both. In the midst of a busy week, City SC made a move to add a spark on the attack. The club signed German midfielder Marcel Hartl from FC St. Pauli. He joined City on a free transfer through June 2028 with a club option for the remainder of the year. The 28-year-old will be one of City SC's three designated players. Hartl holds an international roster spot and will be available for selection on July 18th, which is the start of the MLS summer transfer window. Hartle is coming off the best season of his career, leading St. Pauli to a promotion to the Bundesliga First Division. In three seasons with St. Pauli, he tallied 59 goal contributions across all competitions. Roman Berkey was named an all-star for the second straight season. This year, he received the news from another goaltender in town. More on the surprise reveal when Extra Time returns. This is Extra Time, presented by Purina. Good morning, friends. Today is Thursday, and everybody knows what that means. How are you today? Ozark is a therapy dog who goes to children's hospitals and schools. Ozark calms people down after overwhelming days. 
growing up as supporting more touch therapy dogs to make a difference in the lives of more kids like me. Perino cares here.